this is the simple labs uh, LCD shield for Arduino oh, here's the box for placing the LCD you have a potentiometer for adjusting contrast uh, th there are 8 pins here and 6 pins here this would go on to pin numbers uh, 8 to 13 uh, ground and ARIF on the Arduino and this would go on to the power, uh, power supply uh, points of the Arduino so first we'll fit an LCD see it's, uh, it supports a 16 pin LCD so let's take a older Arduino we have the tumulant up here so how to fit it the 8 pins will have to match with uh, the bottom 8 pins and the 6 pins will have to this so we can check this out now I have a program here a hello world program so you can see that it's working you can change the contrast so that's it with the old type of the board now we'll try to plug the same on the newer Arduinos this is the uh, Rev3 Arduino Uno you can see that this has two additional pins beyond the ARF and on this side as well so if you're placing this on the new Rev3 boards you need to place it like this so you need to start placing the pins from the eighth pin of the UNO on this side and on this side from the top pin of the power rail, the V in pin. So we can try this. So it works. This is also compatible with the Arduino Mega. So we have a Mega here. So this is the older version of the Mega. If it's a Rev3, you do the same as you did uh, for the Uno Rev3. Okay. Yeah. Now it's in full contrast, so let's vary the contrast. Yeah. So we'll also check this with the Indino X board, the simple apps board. Here we have an Indino X. So here we plug it very similar to the older Arduino boards. On this side, you can see this side on the bottom. That's about it. Just try to plug in. One thing to remember if you're using the Indino X board would be that you need to switch off the jumpers on pin numbers uh, 8, 9, 11, 12, and 13. Thank you.